Hey everybody, this is Arvin with GameTextures.com. Today I'm excited to show you guys how to put together a simple vertex paint material using some of the materials we're giving away for the Epic Game Jam. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new uh, material function. So I'm just going to go over here to templates, go to function templates, and I'm going to create a material function. I'm going to call this function vertex paint. And I'm just going to add an underscore func su suffix to it. Let's go ahead and pop that open. And now what we're going to do is add some of the included base material functions. So if I go over here to material functions, you'll see that there should be a large selection of uh, various materials here. There should be more than I have currently in this folder. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this concrete cracked as well as this ruined brick. And, you know, the one thing that's different from this and the normal blending methods is these are consolidated materials. So I can actually add a material attribute blend and I can blend between these two materials directly without having to do it on a per texture basis. We'll go ahead and plug this to output and we want to call our output instead of results. We're going to call it material attributes. Let's also add a vertex color node, and we're just going to grab the red channel as the alpha, and then we'll hit apply. We'll close that. Let's create a new material template, which we'll call vertex paint underscore mat. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to go directly from the vertex paint function to the outputs. So I'm going to click on this vertex paint mat, switch it to use material attributes, and then plug it in. There we go. Let's go ahead and hit apply. Close it. And now we can easily drag and drop this to our mesh here. And from there, you see that we can actually start painting on the red channel. And wherever we paint white, we get the material that was on top. And wherever we paint red, or sorry, wherever we paint black, we get the brick that's sitting underneath. All right, thanks guys. In the next tutorial, we'll be refining this material a little bit.